Hey, Eric Dungan here, and today I'm going to show you real quick how to make a sticker pack for iOS 10. Uh, earlier this year, Apple announced iOS 10 at WWDC, and one of the new features in iMessage was the ability to add stickers, which is already a popular feature in messaging apps like Line, and I believe even Snapchat has stickers, uh, things like that. So, to make a sticker pack, it's pretty simple. You will need Xcode beta until uh, Xcode 8 is out and iOS 10 is in production, which actually should only be a couple weeks. It's currently early September. So for now, I'm going to be using Xcode beta 8, release 6, and then I'll be using Sketch for my stickers. Now there's two different links on the Apple developer portal which can give you information about stickers and I'll post those links in the notes but there is the human interface guidelines which basically lays out the three size options that you can have for your stickers uh, there's another reference file which gives you a couple more pieces of information about uh, how the stickers should be laid out and the constraints and stuff like that now there's two really nice things about sticker packs. One, you don't need any code at all. You do build them in Xcode and you would need an Apple developer account in order to publish them to the App Store, but you don't need to write any Swift, any Objective-C, anything like that. The second nice thing is that you only need to provide one size of an image for your sticker and that's the 3x resolution size. So unlike other assets where you often have to add a small version, a 2x version, a 3x version. Here in stickers, uh, you're basically providing the 3x version and Apple will downsize them and provide the smaller, lower resolution versions. And that's actually documented right here on this page. Now, a couple other requirements. They have to be an image file. They can be a PNG, an animated PNG, a GIF file, or a JPEG file. And they also have to be less than 500 kilobytes per file. That's generally not an issue except I know some animated GIFs can get pretty large in size. I have a GIF collection myself and some are over several megabytes. So keep that in mind. And then basically you'll have three ch sizes to choose from. You can do 300 by 300 pixels which will come out to 100 by 100 points. 408 by 408 for the medium size or 618 by 618 for the large size sticker. So now let's see how we do that. So I have sketch file open with some drink artwork that I found on a free vector website. I just took eight of those, made a few changes, and here in sketch I have it configured so that each piece of art which I want to be a sticker is on a separate artboard. Now I have those artboards configured as you can see here to be 300 by 300 which is what we want for the small size. Now you'll see my artboard backgrounds are blue. I just have that so that I can check the transparency for each sticker because I have white and light gray backgrounds so it was easier for me to view and double check the transparency and Apple does recommend when possible using transparent PNGs because you'll eventually be able to move these stickers around over iMessage speech bubbles and things like that. So that's why I have that. But just double check here that you can set the background color of your artboard to whatever makes it easy for you to work with, but make sure to turn off the include and export button in sketch that way it won't include the blue background in the file and you'll end up with a nice perfectly square 300 by 300 transparent PNG. So I have each artboard configured here in the lower right corner to export as a PNG in 1x size even though Apple knows that'll be the 3x size and so all I'm going to do now is select these eight artboards and basically hit export 
and I have a drinks folder created already. That's where my art will go. I'll hit export. And if we go over to Finder, we should see eight images. And if we look at the dimensions, they should be 300 by 300. And they should have a nice transparent background if we open them in preview. OK, perfect. So we have our artwork. Now let's jump over to Xcode Beta. And let's create a new Xcode project. And make sure up here we're selecting iOS. And the type of application is a sticker pack. And that's nice. It provides a nice template when we just basically have to drop this artwork in. We'll hit Next. And let's give it a name. Hit Next. And we'll go ahead and choose a folder to save that in. We'll create. Okay, so we have the project created. You can see that there's actually two targets. That's how it configures these sticker packs. And right here, all we're gonna do is take those eight PNG files we had and we're gonna drop them in here. Now, I haven't seen this work yet, but Apple mentions using, in one of these documents, uh, using relevant names for your artwork. So I assume that is because they're going to allow you to possibly autocomplete or search for stickers in the iMessage application once you're using it. Um, again, I haven't seen that work yet, but it may just not be in iOS 10 beta yet. So we've got eight stickers. Now, if we were going to eventually publish this app, we would create an app icon, just like we would for a normal iOS app. I'm not going to do that here. Right now, we just want to see how the stickers work. So let's go ahead and choose a simulator. And we will build this. Okay, so our sticker pack built, and it's just doing the final setup on the iPhone 6S simulator. Um, while this gets started, one thing I should mention that's nice about the Xcode 8 beta and simulators is that it includes iMessage with a couple fake contacts, and so you can test the stickers and messaging features right here in the simulator. Of course, it's always good to test your sticker packs in any app on an actual device first. So here we go. We've got the simulator running. Let's open iMessage. And uh, you can see we've got two contacts in here. Now in iOS 10, if you don't have the beta, stickers are under this little application. 
button. And you can see it pulls up our stickers. We didn't put an icon, so that's why that's just an empty grid. And then you can see eventually our little icons show up right here. So we can say to John, hey, let's go to happy hour after work. And then we'll throw a sticker at him, show him we're serious. There you have it. So again, really uh, behind the scenes, sticker packs are just groups of images, but this makes it a nice way to uh, make it easy for users to get and use images. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment, send us an email, and good luck.